I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors and let me thank GCSE for sharing with us exam reviews. Here is question number six. The diagram shows a parallelogram OA is equal to 2A, O to B is 2B, D is a point on OC such that O to D is to D is to C is 2 is to 1. So this ratio is given to us as 2 is to 1. E is the midpoint of BC. These two sides are equal. Show that ADE are on the same straight line. So we need to show that if I connect A with D and E, it is a straight line. So that is what we need to show in this particular example. All right? Let us see how to do it. Now the basic concept is that these vectors will be collinear if a to d and d to e are scalar multiples right so that is what we are interested in finding so we'll try to figure out what is a to d and we'll also find d to e so for collinear i have to show that a to d is a scalar multiple of vector d to e right that is the concept so let us try to find what is a to d and what is d to e. Okay, to begin with, let's find what OC is. Since d is a point on OC, so the vector OC can be written as combination of OB and BC. Now, BC is same as OA, right? So, I could also write this as OB plus OA. OB is given to us as 2B and OA is 2A. So, that is OC for us. Now, what is OD? OD is it d divides the line in the ratio of 2 is to 1, right? So that will help us to find what OD is, right? Okay. Now let's find what is A to D. Now A to D will be equal to AC minus C to D. That is one way we could go about. Or we could go like this. A to O times this. So either way, you can find what A to D is, right? So let's follow the path of this as A to D as OD minus OA, right? So let's find what A to D is. Let me do it in a different ink. So AD is equal to from a to d this vector is equal to o d minus o a now o to d is scalar multiple of o c which divides this line the ratio of 2 is to 3 right so the total length is 3 so 2 third of o c is o d so i could write this as 2 over 3 of o c minus OA, two-third of OC, sorry, right. two-third of OC. Now, we have found that OC is 2B plus 2A, right? So, we could write this as two-third of 2B plus 2A minus OA, OA is minus 2A, okay? that's what we get. Now we can simplify this combining these terms, right? So 2 over 3 minus 1 times 2a. So we could write this as 2 times 2, let's first write 4b over 3, right? And here we get plus 4a over 3 and then minus 2a, right? So that gives you 4b over 3 and 3 times 2 is minus 6 and that gives me minus 2a over 3, right? So we can take 2 over 3 common. We get here 2b minus 
a. So that becomes our vector a d, right? So let me write it clearly. We found that a d is two third of two b minus a. Right. Now let us figure out what is d e, right? Now d to e will be equal to we can follow this path. We can go like this and then come back, right? So d to c, uh, d to c plus c to e. Now d to c is one third of OC. And c to e is half of CB. Okay. CB is minus 2A, right? Now, OC is 2B plus 2A. So we can write this as one third of OC is 2B plus 2A, right? And then we'll do half of CB. C to B is minus 2A, right? So half of minus 2A. So let's open this bracket and solve. So here we get 2 over 3B and we get plus 2 over 3A. And this gives you minus A, right? Half times minus 2, minus A. Combining the A terms, we get 2 over 3B. And this gives you minus 1 over 3. 2 minus 3, right? So minus 1 over 3A, right? We can take 1 over 3 common. So if I take 1 over 3 common, I get 2B here, 2 times B, and minus A there, correct? So what we found here is that D to E, let me write here, D to E, is one third of 2b minus a. You can clearly see here that both ad and de are scalar multiples of 2b minus a. Right? Since both are scalar multiples of 2b minus a, we can say that ade is collinear, right? Correct? Since DE and AD are scalar multiples, of vector 2B minus A, this implies that AD and E are on the same line. Perfect. So that is how we are going to prove it. I wanted everything to be on one screen and therefore we kind of messed it up. But I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and if you like and share my videos that would be great. You can always send your queries to my email just as we got this letter from our friend. So thanks a lot for watching my videos, subscribing to them and posting questions like this. All the best.